Hey guys, it's Apps on Fire here with another video. But this time we are going to do an Evernote Windows overview. And this is going to be the first video of the three part series I'm going to do. It's going to be all dedicated to Evernote. The first video is going to be this one, the five version 5.3 of the Windows um the Windows Evernote uh Windows Evernote app and the second video is going to be a Evernote web overview of the browser um, edition of Evernote and the third one is going to be an Android slash iOS app review of Evernote and the reason, it, the reason for me doing uh, Evernote series is because this is the best app I've ever downloaded in my entire life in my entire life and I just wanna you know dedicate a series to it that's how good it is no no, no it's gonna be four parts sorry sorry so this this Windows version the Evernote web overview and the Android slash iOS um, review and then I'm gonna show you guys how um, Evernote, Evernote <laughs> oh my gosh how Evernote can help you as a student or uh, a reg like a a student or a regular person or a businessman or whatever you are, how Evernote can help you in your life. In your life, because Evernote is the one of the greatest apps I've ever downloaded in my entire life. And it really lives up to its potential, pretty much. I'm really excited. I am excited. I am excited for this app review. This time I'm excited for the series. Gosh, I'm just like jumbling words together because I'm so excited for this app. This review. These this series. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm all over the place, but Okay, so I'm first off I'm just gonna do an overview of this whole thing. So if you don't know what Evernote is, let me just start off with that. If you don't know what Evernote is, Evernote Evernote is like a note taking app. It's a note taking app where you put all your uh, notes in and it's synced across all your devices. So if you have the app on your Android phone or your iOS phone and you uh, upload something to Evernote, it will show up in your computer, it will show up in your tablet, and it will show up in any other computer in the whole entire world that has internet access because it is uploaded to the Evernote cloud and it is great because you will never forget anything with Evernote. You will never forget um, what to do, you'll never forget your assignments, you'll never forget your notes, you'll never forget anything. You'll you could put everything on Evernote. You could put audio. You could put uh, pictures. You could put files. You could put text. You could put everything on Evernote. And the best part is, it is completely free. There is a premium version, but you probably won't be needing it unless you're like a serious Evernote user or like a business kind of guy. But for an average student just like me, it will work great the free version will work great for you so um, yeah so Evernote will make you remember everything because you could set reminders on it and all that stuff you could um, they have a new update where you could um, draw on it so you could pretty much write all your uh, notes on there like equations and stuff and pictures for like chemistry or something you could draw it all out and you could type stuff up and you could e easily organize it into um, notebooks over here and yeah you just stay on top of things you are organized you could put tags on your notes you you title your notes man yeah so it is great it is great for people and I think it is not used enough by the whole world because I don't know I've I'm pretty much the only one I've ever met that used this app. Oh, I'm not the only one that I've ever met. I know some people, but like three, three people tops. But this 
will help you out. If you are, if you really want to get organized, download Evernote and use it on all your devices because that's that's the best way possible and how you could help yourself and help others as well because you could use Evernote to help others as well because you could share everything on your Evernote to people to you could share it on Twitter you could share it on whatever you want you could send a text message to people you could share one of your notes and then send it as a text message and it will sh it will give them a link and then when they click on the link it will um, bring them up to the web the web uh, bring it it will open up the browser and bring them to the web um, edition of the note and I'll I'll go over everything on the fourth video of the of the series but this video is just dedicated to the Windows edition of Evernote so this is just an overview so now you know what Evernote is let me give you the overview so on the top right when you open it you are taken to all of your notes and you're and yeah you're taking all your notes and you're showing all your notebooks over here and then it shows you the most recent note that you just had up and in here it shows your account if you want in here it shows sync and here's the back and forward and here's your activity and here's where you add new notes so um, new webcab note, new screenshot, new audio note, new ink note, new note and here you go here's your file tab right here you could print out you can print out your notes you could attach stuff to it import it you could yeah here's where you could add like a new note new tag new notebook new save search um, here you could edit all your notes and this is also a great word processor guys it's not the best it's not gonna beat Microsoft Word or Google Docs but it will get the job done and it's just great. Here you can check your spelling, you know, all all that stuff. Just show you all the tabs here. You could fix the format if you want. Here's all your tools. So yeah, it's basically the basics, all the basic stuff right there. So um on the left hand side are all your notebooks. And notebooks are pretty crucial to organizing all your notes because you can't just have all your notes in just like one just one glob of just notes and of random stuff so you gotta organize into notebooks right so currently I have a notebook for assignments which I put that's where I put all my assignments for school and I put all my homework in there so yeah so it basically has all my homework planned out there and I have a money, a money um, notebook right there. It's where I put all my budget stuff and amount of money I have, stuff just so I know how much money I have. And my this is probably my most important notebook. Uh, yeah, this is probably my most important notebook. My notes notebook where I put all my notes in. And here you could just see how great this is and this is all on my this is on air, all of my devices guys I could access it from anywhere cuz I could access my phone I could access it on my tablet I could access it at the school computer it's all there so yeah here I have my chemistry notes and I put the chapter so everything's organized I have my exam review and Evernote helped me get an A on my um, US history exam and I like to thank Evernote for that because it really helped me study everywhere I am. Like whatever, wherever I am, I'm I could study and bring it up and edit wherever I am. And you could see the power, how powerful the word processing is on this. Like you could really organize everything on Evernote. And here's where here's where you uh, the drawing comes in. So. You you know it's kind of hard to put like exponents and subscripts and math and stuff, so you could they just updated the app where you could draw on it, so now you could draw and it makes it super easy to put uh, equations and stuff on it. So here's another example of how I used it. 
yeah, it's just great because I could put all the equations on there now. Like I just copied down the notes from my notebook. And you're going to be asking, oh, well, that's so much work. Why don't you just use your notebook? Well, guys, I don't want to be carrying my notebook around everywhere. I put everything in my locker, so there's like basically nothing in my backpack. The only thing in my backpack is uh, my binder, which has all my um, assignments and stuff in it. All my notebooks are in my locker because I have all my notes on my phone. I have all my notes on my tablet. So it's just great to help you out with that. So yeah here's just another example how I use drawings um, yeah I'm not the best drawer as you can see but uh, there it is but yeah we'll, we'll get into how it could help you in the fourth video so um, yeah you'll have on the Windows Edition you'll have ads right here so um, take note of that and here's where you could search notes so if I put in chemistry oh can't even spell if I put in chemistry then anything that has the word chemistry in it it will bring up in here and just makes it easy to find notes and stuff and yeah so if you create a new note it will create a new note in the folder that you're in right now and then you could set the title I just put a random title like random and then here you could put all your whatever you need and stuff pictures notes and stuff so yeah that's basically it for this video because this is just an overview of the windows 5.3 edition and i will see you in the next video which is going to be the uh... evernote web edition so yeah that's basically it guys it's apps on fire here with the evernote series and peace guys